everyone. It is 855 and 70 degrees on your Monday morning, the 30th day of September. I'm Tim Williams checking in with meteorologist Meg McNamara. A little gray outside. Uh, yes, very gray out there. So certainly more clouds and sunshine for our day. Temperatures here, we've cooled into the upper 60s, so we have some rain moving on through the area here. You can see, though, the rain so far really staying mainly south of the city. I don't think we're going to see a lot of this action, but remember, we'll take what we can get because we do have that deficit as far as the rain goes. Now we'll see a few breaks of sun in there. Really, though, for the most part, we're talking clouds. Today will be significantly lower than where we were over the weekends in the mid 80s. There's where we are as far as the rainfall goes. So over 3.7 inches behind where we should be for September as far as rainfall. Tim. Thank you, Meg. A woman is killed in a house fire in Baltimore County. Mike Shue has the latest details. Good morning, Tim. As you can see, the house is gutted. Neighbors say that the victim here was elderly and lived alone. The fire was called in at 1030 and was brought under control in 20 minutes. And that is when firefighters found the woman. She was pronounced dead near 11 o'clock. No one else was hurt. We're awaiting identification of the victim and investigators are looking at the cause. I'm Mike Shu reporting from Lansdowne for WJZ. A man is shot and killed by Baltimore County Police after a multiple stabbing at Hunt Valley Town Center and has a criminal history. Jamal Taylor was charged with assault and theft in 2011. Police say he was inside the Hunt Valley Wine, Liquor and Beer Store when the stabbings took place. He was shot and killed by police.